Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a box that is one and one fourth feet long by one and one half feet wide. Okay? And we're going to do this knowing that one box. <coughs> is a one-fourth by one-fourth foot box. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is draw my box. I'll change over to green here. And I want to draw a box that's one and one-fourth feet long if each box is equal to one-fourth of a foot. So I'll start here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four boxes long. That gives me one, one foot. And I want to go one box further because now I'm at one and one fourth feet. Okay, so that is one and one fourth feet long. And now I want to do one and one half feet uh, wide. So I start here, I go one, two, three, four. So I'm at one foot now, plus one fourth, plus another fourth gives me one and two fourths or one and one half. And so now I'm going to just come down and I'm going to connect my boxes or my lines there. And so that is the box that I want to find the area of. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. The first thing I can do is I can say, well, I have one box here that is one fourth by one fourth. And if I want to find the area of just that box, I can do one fourth times one fourth and that gives me one sixteen square foot for the area of just that box. I can then count up one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, six and I now know that I have thirty boxes. So what I can now do is multiply thirty times 1 16 okay and that is really saying 30 over 1 times 1 over 16 equals 30 sixteenths if I turn that into a mixed number 16 goes into 30 one time with 14 left over so I get 1 and 14 sixteenths and when I reduce that fraction, I get 1 and 7 eighths square feet. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to just take my original dimensions. I have 1 and 1 fourth feet long times 1 and 1 half feet wide. So I can now just take those two measurements and multiply them. 1 and 1 fourth. times one and one half. Well, the first thing I want to do is change them into improper fractions. So four times one is four, plus one is five, so that's five fourths, times two times one is two, plus one is three, that is three halves. And then I am going to multiply those, and I get 15 eighths. And 8 goes into 15 one time with 7 left over, and I get 1 and 7 eighths squared feet. So again, either one of these ways is appropriate. It really comes down to whether you prefer multiplying just a whole number by a fraction, or if you prefer multiplying a mixed number by a mixed number. Good luck.